Hi, I'm Mark Barsamian. In this video, we'll start discussing business terminology and we'll do an example involving computing cost. This material is from section 2.7, Marginal Analysis. More specifically, it's from the beginning of that section, from middle of page 162 to the middle of page 164, just parts of examples 1 and 2. And the relevant homework is this set, 4, 5, and 6 from section 2.7. In your MyLab assignment, you only have a problem like number 5, but I think it's important to do all three of these problems. Now, I originally had not planned to do a video for this homework assignment because this is mainly prerequisite skills. That is, you're simply evaluating a function. That is, you're plugging in an x value to find a y value. But there is one bit of extra terminology that the book introduces, and it's a little bit confusing, so I thought it was worth making a short video to explain it. In our course, we will do quite a few business examples. And in our examples, companies will make and sell some item. And there will be some simplifying assumptions, basically, that make the math doable at a level of a course like this. So our simplifying assumptions are uh, that the items that the company manufactures are manufactured in batches. Another simplifying assumption is that all of the items that are manufactured are sold, and they're all sold for the same price per item. Now we'll be learning about quite a bit of business terminology, but to begin with, we'll just need two business-related terms for today's discussion. The first term is the so-called demand. It's a variable. It's represented by the small letter x, and it represents the number of items made. This sounds simple enough, but there can be some complications. So for instance, in some problems, x could represent the number of thousands of items made. Another term is cost, which is capital C parentheses x. This is a function. It gives you the cost of making the batch of x items. And as I said, in coming videos, more terminology will be introduced. So today we'll do just one example. It's similar to that batch of three problems. So in this example, we have a company that makes electric guitars. And we are told that the total cost of producing x electric guitars is given by this function. So there's that letter x, which means the number of electric guitars made in a batch, also called the demand. So question A is, what is the cost of producing a batch of 50 guitars? Well, we have a function that is the cost function, and we're asked to find the cost of producing a batch of 50 guitars, so they're just asking us to find capital C parentheses 50. There we go. The cost of producing a batch of 50 guitars is represented by this symbol, and it has this value, $5,375. Question B, what's the cost of producing a batch of 51 guitars? Well, this is the same idea, just that the math is a little bit messier. So our result is that the cost of producing a batch of 51 guitars is C parentheses 51. It's this number, $5449.75. So there's a bit of arithmetic here. Notice that this is scrap paperwork. And again here. Not terribly hard, but hard enough that it's a, a nuisance to do. Let's go on to the last part of this problem. Question C. If the batch size changes from x equals 50 guitars to x equals 51 guitars, what will be the change in the cost of producing a batch? That is, if x is 51 and delta x is 1, what is delta C? So delta C stands for the change in cost.
So it turns out that the change in cost, delta C, is computed by subtracting the cost of the smaller batch, C parentheses 50, from the cost of the larger batch, C parentheses 51. Now those are the results from question A and question B. So we just subtract and we get this result. It's all very straightforward. The only thing that's confusing is the book's use of this phrase. The book calls this quantity the cost of producing the 51st guitar. I really th think that's not that helpful. I mean, it's the change in the cost of a batch when you change the batch size by one guitar. So you could think of that as the cost of producing that 51st guitar, but it's, it's the cost of the larger batch minus the cost of the smaller batch. So you might encounter problems from the MyLab system that ask about the cost of producing the 51st guitar or something like that. And what they really mean is a calculation like this. That's the end of that example, and that's the end of the video. Thank you.